Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be pulling that engine apart. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in guys, if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and that post notification bell to stay up to date with this crazy build. With that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, we've got to clean up in here a little bit or tidy up. There is not much room now. So we're going to fold these legs up on the engine crane. We're going to get that engine up there so we can start pulling it apart. Alright guys, I've cleaned up a little bit here. I'm just taking some things off the engine while it's down here. Um, so I took off the windage tray, took off the engine mounts. I'm going to take the, the oil filter adapter off and I'm going to take the oil pump off. So we have pretty much a flat surface there. So we're going to have oil pump facing the wall. So I need to get the flywheel off because it's actually still got the flywheel on it. I don't use a flywheel. All right guys, so I've got everything off there. I've got the oil pump off, got the adapter off. So we're pretty flat there. Now I bought a roll of this non-slip rubber stuff. So I'm gonna cut up some of that and put it on the bench to protect the block and so it doesn't move around. All right, put some of that down. It's all holy as well, so any oil will just go straight through and still got the heat left, so you can always just change it over. Okay. Got a bracket in the rims. Oh. Right. So I'll get this off. So just the two twelves. That's my little hoisting mechanism that I always use. Also, boys, we got another breather hose there. So it's like it's the right size that I need, not that cracky green one that I had on there. Alright guys, so sorry about the background noise with the rain. Um, definitely can't help that. So I've got to get this flywheel off. Um, obviously I don't use a flywheel. I use a flex plate. But... By the um, scoring over here, I know it was rusted on there, but the car didn't have a bonnet. So, yeah, you can see got runs and stuff so some water's got in there it didn't have an Xeti clutch on it I had decent head gaskets the bores look pretty good uh, I don't know if you can see it. the cross hatching there it's all right bit of bit of crud on there though but, uh, I'm trying to get these bolts off I couldn't get them off at the wreckers but i've got my ugga dugga here so hopefully we can so uh let's get to it all right the ugga dugga's getting them off uh or the back back whatever you want to call it uh yeah we've got one bolt left um last time i had a flywheel on a car was on my gpir and i never saw it never took the never changed the uh the clutch on it but the last one I saw was on my ET Pulsar. I put an Xeti heavy duty clutch on it. That thing would talk steer like a, I miss my old Pulsars. Anyway, last one to get off, and I'll get that off. Um, 
Who knows? I might use it later on. I don't know just yet, boys. I don't know what's happening with the uh, the gearbox just yet. If I should stay auto or go manual. If I, obviously, if I go manual, it's going to have to be a six-speed to uh, handle the power that hopefully I'm going to be getting out of this engine. All right, boys. Flywheel is off. That is heavy. This looks good, but what the hell is this? That clutch. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen a clutch. Clutch material? I don't know. Anyway. Um, now that that's a part, I guess um, we can start looking into stripping it down. So we can turn it around now. We don't have that in the way. These really aren't doing much. They're gripping to the motor, but not the bottom. So should be easier to spin it, I guess. So when I got to the engine, it didn't have a knock sensor. Um, so we've got the oil pressure in there, so we'll get that off. Got this bracket here we need to take off. This one gets replaced with a different one for the double overhead cam. That is the main difference to making it between a single and a double overhead. So, uh, yeah. Nothing like taking these brackets off and getting that stink, that air that's stuck in the bolt hole for its whole life. It smells like, like when you take the air of a tyre. You know what I mean? That's what. Alright, I've got some new bolts. Uh, yeah, I can't use that bracket. But. We'll take the sensor off and then we can start taking out these plugs to start taking out the good old pistons. All right, cut the sensor out. We are getting the plugs out now. So I've already done those two. So we'll turn it around to the back and get those inspection plates off. And I think there's only one plug on the other side. All right. I really hate taking these Phillips heads out. Um, last time I used Impact with this fella, and yeah, obviously a Phillips head, and that I got him out. I couldn't get him out with a screwdriver. I tried with a screwdriver first. It looks like it hasn't really been touched. But if I'm struggling and it's starting to slip, then we'll go to the Impact. Yeah, tried with the screwdriver, couldn't, so we are on the impact, and we're already backed out this one. So, just taking it nice and easy, get them out. in the same bag. Alright, bit grubby on the, the block breather part. Alright, now that we've got all these inspection holes um, cleared, we can get the pistons out. So I'm going to get the spring or the C-clip out and then punch out or pull out the, um, the piston ring, the piston, the wrist pin. Got there, didn't I? Alright, I've got one of the, the clips out, and we need to get the wrist pin out. Alright boys, you see the cross hatching?
All right, so all the pistons are out. So on that engine in there, we stripped this one here and we broke this bolt here. So hopefully all of them come out good. So what I'm actually gonna do is soak them in WD-40. Yes, we'll be going through the parts washer either tomorrow or the next day to get all nice and clean. Probably have to um, clean up all this rear. That's got a lot of dirt in it. Um, but yeah, let's get it apart. So one thing I want to show you is how clean the water jackets are on this thing. Like it was, the coolant was green, green, green. Compared to my old one, which was like a rusty color. So yeah. I'll scrape some WD-40 down there too for the main bolts, main case bolts. We're going to reuse these bolts too, so um, yeah, we'll bag and tag them. Got something for you boys. Shh. Ready? Alright guys, so all of the bolts, so we haven't got this one out yet, um, came out good. No breaking or stripping or threading or whatever. So this block is good so far. We just need to get that one out there and then we can pull the case halves apart get the crank out and um, start inspecting measuring and yeah be good hi right, boys got the case half apart just looking at the bearings or the journals they are looking pretty good so uh, let's get this crank out all right, just looking at the bearings and I'm pretty happy with them. Pretty happy with the wear, so, so we're, we're pretty good. So we'll pop those bearings out and we'll flip it over and have a look at the boards properly. All right, all right boys, seems like we're, um, we're back here again. So, see the cross hatching. I'm going to give them a wipe down and then we'll start measuring. Alright boys, I've marked the distances that I need to measure, except for the 115, because you might be able to see. It hasn't been honed out past about 90 mil down, so I'm not going to bother. Sorry. Mm. Alright boys, I just measured them all up and we are looking sweet. Look at that, cylinder 3 is on a point, we're all within one thou of what I need, which is fine, and the roundness is very good, so yeah, I'm going to roll with this, um, I think that's me done for tonight, I'll come back tomorrow and get all these bolts out, and um, just dig out the dirt and then I'll I'll take it into work so tomorrow at work I'll turn on the the washer before I leave so overnight it'll heat up and be nice and hot for this block on Friday all right guys it's the next day I just need to take all these plugs out for the water channels and the oil uh, we'll take these o-rings out and just pick out this really deep dirt that's been in here and chuck it into some bags and we'll take it to work. I've turned on the, the parts cleaner at work so it's going to heat up overnight be nice and hot for me tomorrow so we should get eight to nine hours of good hot wash cleaning 
So we should have a nice, nice clean block. Water jacket's already nice and clean, but it'll be even better. Pretty happy with this. Obviously, uh, we'll give it a quick, quick home when we get back tomorrow, just to clean everything up. If there's any uh, water and stuff, it might leave a little bit of rusty bits on there. So we'll give it a quick home with the ball hone, and we'll put some oil on it to uh, make sure it doesn't rust until we can get it all back together. I'm actually going to get all this dirt out first before we open it up so then we don't get the dirt inside the block. I cannot believe how much actually came out of that. All of that. I'll sweep it up into a little pile. Oh. This is pretty much what just came out of the block that was sitting on top. <laughs> Probably an inch high. That's crazy. Oh, there's some more over there. But anyway, it was a lot, and there's still some in there. That should come out with the the hot wash. All right, guys, I've got all the plugs out except I couldn't get the two big plugs out for the water. Um, I'm not too concerned because. The water jackets are pretty clean. Um, it's just about cleaning it out after it gets washed. Um, but for now, I need to get the old um, sealant off because the wash doesn't get that off. So I'll just get a razor blade and clean up those surfaces. And then I'll bag it and chuck it in the boot of my car. All right, boys. This is ready to go in a bag and go to work to get cleaned up so we'll do that we'll chuck it in the boot um and we'll come back i guess tomorrow after work when it's all clean might do a couple of videos on my iphone but i think i only did that a few weeks ago with the other one all right guys i'm back with the washed block there's half of it the other half is up there now, inside, uh, the inside came up really good, the top not so much, we need to scrub that. Um, inside, nice and clean now, need to clean up the boards now, so I need to quickly do that so we don't get any more rust, but we still need to clean up here, so... Probably have to do that again. Anyway, I might actually just run some oil down it. That should, hopefully that's okay. Alright boys, I'm going to send the ball hone down these just to clean them up. So, we need to stuff the cylinder walls. So just nice and quick, just to take off that rusty. Alright boys, just sent the ball hone down. And I've put some more oil on there. I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing the rest of the block. I might get onto it tonight, tomorrow, or even the next day. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, it's Emerson's birthday party on Sunday. So, um, I definitely won't be in here on Sunday. But, um, also I've got to fix couple of things on the Mrs. Golf so that might be a video coming up or it may already be out so yeah I'm gonna finish this episode here I think it's a pretty long one anyway if you like this episode give it a thumbs up if you're pretty keen on what's gonna happen with this block and the build be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe and post notification bell as well to keep up to date with it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next episode. Bye.